Hey everyone, it's the Jose 32 back again. It's time for another deck review. I'm gonna to try to do two at once. And these are from Grimaud, a French playing card company. First I'll look at this red one. The French says plastic coated on top. I'll get up a little closer. And it says 54 playing cards in the middle and Grimaud and super thin, not really sure what that means. I can't find anything super thin about them. <laughs> and then there's this artwork around it, and it's, you know, it's pretty standard box front, but nothing amazing, but it's not bad. This side says 54 playing cards, plastic coated. This side, the exact same thing. Not sure why I have to tell you how many cards are in the box on every side of the box. And guess what, in the top, Yes, 54 playing cards, in case you missed it the first three times. And in the bottom of the, card, of the box, it says reference 390038, made in France. Or France, if you will. <laughs> Sorry about my bad France accent. <laughs> and then there's the back design, which is not bad looking, in my opinion. Pretty nice. Nothing on the flaps. And I'll go right in. I'll tell you this much. The inside of this box is pretty rough. It's a pretty plain cardboard box on the inside. When I open it up. I got two cards here that say Fees, a big control. And then there's a number, Post 412A, France Cards, France. I believe it's some kind of quality control card. <clears throat> and there's two of them actually that are identical. And then there's the back design of the cards, which like I said, is pretty nice. Although somewhat basic, but not bad. <clears throat> this deck, by the way, does not have any jokers, so I guess I'll have to write joker on these if I want any jokers. The number of cards are pretty interesting. These are jumbo index, by the way, in case you haven't noticed. <clears throat> and the number of cards, as you can see, they have this ivory color, if you will, in the center, which makes the center stand out quite a bit. And it's pretty interesting. They're all like that, as you can see. The court cards do not have the ivory color in the center, they're all white. And they're all pretty standard court cards, almost look like bicycles, in my opinion. And there's a couple more, in case you don't believe me. They do look very similar to bicycles. And the Ace of Spades looks like this. It's got a Fairly round spade pip. It says Grimaud, and then I hope I pronounced that right. Grimaud, Grimaud, and it says made in France at the very bottom. And in the spade pip, I don't know if you can see it. What's in the spade pip is a guy painting a portrait of the king while the king is posing. You can't really tell. You'll see it better in the next deck, I promise. And that's what you get. Like I said, there's no jokers. They do spread not too badly. They are plastic coated, as it said on the box, very smooth. Oh, that's terrible. They're a little bit stiff, so they're a little bit hard to dribble, but they are starting to break in a little bit. Fanning wise, they fan somewhat decently, they're not too too bad. And that's what you get with this deck. I'm 
can I say? It's not too bad, but I wouldn't go out of my way to actually get one of these. This one, actually, in my opinion, is a lot better. So here again, this is the front of the box. It says circle on top, point cards on the bottom that says bridge, because it is bridge size, in case you didn't notice. And then you got this the spade pip in the center, and there you can see what I was talking about before. This guy is drawing a portrait of the king, king of spades actually, because there's a spade pip on the side. And the king is posing in the background. So that's pretty interesting. On this side it says playing cards. On the other side, you guessed it, playing cards. On the top, surprise, surprise, 54 cards. And on the bottom, oh look at that. There's 54 cards and it's made in France. In the back, you see the back design, which I think is very nice. It's very elegant looking. And again, nothing on the flap. And this, where the cards? <laughs> this box is very tight. I can't get the cards out. <laughs> Look at that. I'm finally starting to budge a little bit. I apologize. I can't get the cards out. This is incredible. <laughs> Too many cards in there for some reason. Uh, okay, finally. That's terrible. Cards are so tight you can't get them out. Anyways, you did get this one card which is probably not going back in the box. And it is a bridge scoring chart and it says remote playing cards at the bottom. There's the back design. Really nice and elegant. It's got really super thin borders. So the other deck said super thin, but I didn't see anything super thin about it. But this one actually does have something super thin about it. The cards, as you can see, have indices in all four corners. Pips and everything are basically the same as the other deck. Court cards, pretty basic. They look much nicer than the other ones because they're not bridge, are uh, not Chumbo indexed. The Ace of Spades. It's like the other one, except again, it's not Chumbo indexed, so you can actually see it. And it looks just like the one on the box. Some more card cards for you. There's the Suicide King. The Jokers. There's three of them. I'll show you them. Yes, free. The Ace of Clubs is actually kind of interesting because it actually says made in France on the very bottom. I don't know if you can read that. Oops. Anyways, it says made in France right there on the bottom of the Ace of Clubs. The Jokers, like I said, you get three of them. They are basically identical, and they look like the ones I've seen in the Fourniers, and I'm not sure what other decks I've seen them in. They're just some Joker guy holding some cards. It looks like he's playing cards, and it says Vidali Joker. And this one has symbols in all, they all have symbols in all four corners, as you can see. This one has black and white poker chips, or whatever that is. This one is red and white, and this one is red and black but these cards are actually I, I like them they, they dribble nicely compared to those other ones the blue ones that are the red one what are they red ones I just showed you they're a little bit harder to handle they're a little bit stiffer, if you will, but these ones are nice, kind of soft. Pretty good stock. They are just plastic coated, from what I understand. And as thin as they are, the borders are actually a little bit 
teeny teeny bit off center from what I can see. No big deal. They spread nicely, as you can see. They fan somewhat. <laughs> They're not the greatest for fanning. But they're not bad. If you are in France, I would definitely recommend. I think these ones over the red ones. to this a little bit. They seem like they're a bit better to handle and a bit better quality <coughs> and a bit nicer stock. I guess I don't know, but really that's up to you. And anyway, that's what you get from Green Mode. That is what I've got from them. And that's my review on those two decks. I'll put this card aside. And stay tuned, I've got more reviews on the way. Guaranteed. So stay tuned for that. I'll see you in just a bit.